Hello and welcome to Empower Kickboxing. I'm John Graydon and I am thrilled that you're with us today. Let's explore the member zone, specifically how we can get you to the lesson plans and the skills that you want to start working on right away. This is where you go after you logged in, as you discover. It's always a good idea to check out the updates. They are updated constantly. Then whatever latest video we have that may be of interest to you is on this page in these particular slots. In this case, my brother Jim is doing his belt exams and he's kind of walking through how he does his belt exams. And I thought that would be interesting to check it out. We'll watch this for a couple of weeks and then we'll archive it with links to get to it. But it's always changing, so check in on a regular yeah. basis. Here we have two great promo videos for schools and you can download it and upload it to your social media. The foundation skills are the basic kickboxing and martial arts skills that make empower kickboxing work because they're so simple to learn jab cross uppercut hook five elbows five kicks front kick back kick side kick round kick knee strike ten blocks really easy keep it close protect the target you can review the foundation skills whenever you like but we're going to go into lesson plans this is the meat and potatoes as they say the class structure is always the same you can click in this button and you can get a walkthrough you can see that this is year one, terms one to three. A term is like a semester. Every week has two classes. So each module has a total of eight classes and they're all mapped out for you. So here we go, term one, the martial arts module. The focus is on the open hand techniques, knife hand, ridge hand, palm heel, chicken beak, spear hand, and all that kind of fun stuff, groin grab, or they call it monkey paw. <laughs> the weapons module. For the weapons module, we use the rubber chucks, the rubber nunchaku, and we don't typically do the baton twirling type of nunchaku that you see in tournaments. This is more of the Tadashi Yamashita self-defense focus nunchaku training led by Empower Kickboxing Board of Advisor, Master James Theros. The kickboxing module. In the kickboxing module, it's important to understand that even though our foundation is in kickboxing, it's really in American kickboxing. So during the kickboxing module, we'll introduce some exotic kickboxing skills from Savat, Muay Thai, and we are so proud to offer and include my instructor, Joe Lewis. His complete kickboxing system is part of this Empower Kickboxing program. Many of the drills and skills that you'll learn in the kickboxing module will come straight from Joe Lewis himself. The self-defense module. Understand that this is Cobra Defense. It is law enforcement based. It is not martial arts theory based. Instead, it is evidence based. So we're so proud to present Cobra Defense as part of the Empower Kickboxing program. Chris Sutton is the founder and he is on our board of advisors and we're so thrilled to be able to introduce you to Cobra Defense. This program is so strong as a single module that you can actually sell memberships just to that module. So it's four weeks, eight classes. You could sell a four week program, a four week self-defense program to the general public, the families of your current students. It creates tremendous traffic in your school. And once they take that, they'll be hooked because during the self-defense module, pretty much all you're doing is self-defense and warm up. So they get a good workout in, but they're learning this fantastic self-defense at the same time. So we're not spending time on mitt work, we're not doing bag work, we're focused 100% on self-defense and calisthenics and warm-ups. So it's real different, so that introduces a great variety and change of pace to the Empower Kickboxing curriculum. We have kids classes and we have adult classes, so it's best to kind of focus specifically on the age group and age-appropriate self-defense training. What you're about to see is a home invasion tied into a 911 call. So the child is going to be tasked with first running and has to pick up a piece of rope and untie it while the instructor is barking at him. This helps the child learn to do fine motor skill tasks during stress. Then he has to pick the phone up and call 911. As soon as he does that, the instructor becomes the 911 operator. 911, put it up to your 911, what's your emergency? Who's on your approved list? What, oh, what's your mom's address? You got your address right here. Phone number, phone number. We want to call her quickly. That's it. Okay, I got your dad on here. What's his address? Quick, 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 quick. 
You got a number in front of that. Shipmaster 804. Very good. What's his phone number? 64433. Go! I'm right after you. Open it, shut it, open it, shut it, open it, shut it. You didn't open it, shut it, open it, shut it. Lock it. One, two, three. Let's go. Find the phone. Open this door. Five. Come on. Four. Three. Two. I'm coming in. I'm coming in. Let's go. What do we do? What do we do? What do we do? What do we do? And time. All right. Christopher, what were you thinking? Tell me about your scenario. Um, Come on in here. Use an Alexander first shield. <laughs> <laughs> um, I didn't do it in enough time. Well, no, it was only five seconds. That's that's very fast. You did go after the door. You did tap it. You did lock it. Got the phone. Got the phone. I forgot to open the door. Yeah, you jumped through the door. All right, when I grabbed you, what were you thinking about? Um, a phone. A phone? Okay, were you thinking about any of your techniques or yelling? Okay, that's good. Next time, just yell. Make sure you, what we practice, use that voice, anchor, throw some strikes. Round of applause. Good job. Let's